Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 37 of the Sharpshooters Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Mr. Brinsky Sharp on the ones and twos and the threes and fours and the fives and the six. We got a little short night for y'all today, but it's still sweet. You know, I got my guys in the house, so make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to get this show started. You know, I got my boy Tez in the house. Exactly. Got my cud Jason in the house, man. What up with it? Yeah, man. This is gonna be a short night, ladies and gentlemen. We probably did more talking offline than Ashley <laughs> was about to be on here. <laughs> probably be on here for like 30 minutes, if that. Just talking uh little Bronny James and a little NBA playoffs. Currently, the uh, Boston Celtics is winning uh, their game right now. But we're going to uh, uh, talk about it. Hopefully, the game be over by the time we make it to it. Or if not, whatever. Now, we're going to start off with Brunny. It's an interesting conversation. First of all, uh, the Haven's not on tonight, of course. Of course, Quint, but a certain somebody, Arlon, was on here. We was talking on the phone. He's on the road. Y'all wish him some safe travels down the road. Arlon said that uh, that Bronny is worth a draft pick. All three of us disagree <laughs> by a long shot. I'm not going to say which round that he said. <laughs> just know those type of rounds are not in the NBA no more. So that's <laughs> all you need to know. <laughs> but uh, what I'm trying to say, man, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> is 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 Bunny is Bunny worth a draft pick to y'all? Like, where where do you even see him starting the season? Because I just don't see him starting the season with nobody right now. Like, not not starting off like on an opening day roster spot and actually playing. Either one of y'all can go. I don't know, man. I don't think – I don't – the only reason this, this is even a question is because uh, it supposedly comes with LeBron James. Uh, if it was not for that, uh, I, I'm not even gonna go as far as to say if LeBron wasn't his daddy. If LeBron had retired already, and this was just Bronny coming in the league, and there was no promise that his dad was gonna come to whatever team drafted him, we wouldn't even be talking about this, man. Like, I think I think they're just doing a disservice to the kid. To be honest with you, I, I think he could be good. He could, he could he could work. You know what I'm saying, and become an NBA player. But like just to throw him to the wolves like that, uh, I don't know. It's just a disservice. It's, it's it's to me, it's it's kind of disrespectful. I think it is disrespectful. It's disrespectful to all of the other players who don't have a famous daddy. We watched the NCAA tournament. We saw some hoopers. We saw some hoopers out there. Uh. And they just not some of them people are not even gonna get the pub or none of the publicity or none of that just gonna get overlooked and go to small schools. Like one that come to mind, uh the Al- remember Alabama played Grand Canyon? Yeah. Uh, what's the dude name play for Grand Canyon? Oh was the, the, the wing, the tall wing. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember the name, but he was definitely hooping. Yeah, yeah. He's a better yeah, prospect than Bernie James. I would draft him before I draft Bernie James. I would hope so. Yeah, but nobody – like, we don't even know his name because – you know, Because he ain't Bernie no James. Yeah, because he's not Bernie James. And it's like, <laughs> it's, this whole process is disrespectful to players like that to me. I don't know. Some people see it differently, uh, but I'm just telling you, from my standpoint, bro, LeBron, he's not my favorite player, so I don't have no allegiance to him whatsoever. I just think that 
is disrespectful, man, to some of the players that's actually out there hooping who don't have a famous daddy. Um, right. I mean, it's, it's kid too, because nobody's doing like Mellow Son like that. Because when you turn on the tape, guess what? Mellow Son actually hooping. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But nobody's doing that to these other other players who got kids that actually hoop. It's just it's just bro and bro. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, LeBron, Raymond James, senior, senior. That's bro, another name for him. Yeah, that's the name. Don't don't do this to us, bro. As, uh, you my second favorite player, bro. Please <laughs> stop it, cause you're not going. You're not going. If Orlando draft Bronny, you're not going to Orlando, bro. You already said Disney World <laughs> before you go to Orlando. So just, like y'all just like cut it out, dog. Like Bronny will be fine. I'm sure he'll be like an assistant manager at a quick trip somewhere. <laughs> He was man, safe with nah, his feet. He gonna be man. just fine. He gonna man. be absolutely just stop. fine. Bro, he, but he's not an NBA player, bro. Like, we gotta stop this. Like, there are so many players that are better than Brian. Well, I'll put it like this: He's not an NBA player right now. He ain't an NBA player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, let's stop it. Let's stop it, bro. Like, he's not going to develop into that. It is what it is. Writing's on the wall, but that doesn't mean that he can't excel in other ways. But you're not your dad. I mean, okay, in the NBA today, who would he be? Pat Bill. Exactly. <laughs> then they don't want him. No. No, Bro, really, like, so many- I, I didn't think he can develop. I don't think he's done growing. I think he can probably grow. Grow taller, bro. He's strong. Man, he can, he can, he can develop his skills a little more. I just, he just not, he just not an NBA player right now because there's so many guys in the G League right now, like JD so Davidson is. Yeah, is 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 all it is. He's playing before JD. Something is wrong. <laughs> so we're gonna the, waste the a roster spot for him. For you, however number of years, because it's not going to be immediate, what, three or four years? Yeah. Five years? So that's why I said, man, just, I wish he would have just went back, developed. He, he's going to play in the – not that. Uh, he's going to play in the, <laughs> he's gonna play in the NBA. Bro. In the he's WNBA. Gonna, <laughs> stop it, bro. He's going to play. He's going to play in the NBA. <laughs> but I just didn't think he was ready right now. He just wasn't ready right now. That's just the only thing. But a but a lot of folks just keep trying to push it just because they see some a combine. Like yeah. I can understand, I can understand if the scouts are, are wrong. Scouts have been wrong. They're gonna be yeah. wrong uh tomorrow and right. they're gonna be wrong next year. Is everybody wrong? Though? But is everybody <laughs> wrong? <laughs> like I understand, like, bro, like you can see, like, if you watch Tom Brady's uh combine. And then you just see that, and then you'd be like, "Oh yeah, this." And I told you he's going to be the greatest football player to ever play the game. You're going to be like, "Get the f out of here!" I, I will. Ooh. You will bet the house on that. But the only difference is, bro, it was that fire on the inside. Do Bronny had that fire in there to succeed? But, but Tom Brady also was a good college quarterback. I was about yeah. to say you, you can always <laughs> turn on the film. Yeah. You turn on the film with Bernie James, you don't see. That, that's always been my argument. It's like he's not even, like we said off the pod, like he's not even among the top. He wasn't even the, amongst the top high school players. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't. There have been some high school tapes that you can look at and be like, man, this is a, like we said, LeVar Ball, uh, his kids, those high school tapes. Like they look way better than what what Bernie did at Sierra Canyon. Yeah, and I'm Which not hating on the man. Stop. It's not hate. It's, not. <laughs> it's just reality. Yeah. Brinsky, would you rather have Sharif or Brian? Sharif. Okay, but Sharif has height <laughs> and all that. 
Okay. It's, it's a lot of things that factor in, man. Okay. Just, it was just a simple question, my brother. <laughs> Brennan Brennan shrunk too, man. You know that? Like in high school in college, he was they had him on the roster at six four. That's why his draft, you know, when his draft started. I don't think they started. had him at no six four. Yeah, they did. They had him at six. But he didn't <laughs> he didn't shrink. They just had him at the yeah, wrong list. Then he went to the combine and he, now he's six one. Man, you talking about a player that's shorter than Steph Curry. <laughs> At that height, you got to be Allen Iverson. You got to be. You got to be Brunson. Yeah, you got to be Jalen Brunson. But the thing is, bro, everybody ain't Allen Iverson. You yeah. know what else I want to say real quick, too, while we talking about this? We got to start with the he's more of a defensive player. I'm so tired of hearing that, man. He's more of a de- you, Listen, listen. Do you know who says that when you go to a pickup game and, and, and one of the players on your team or somebody you don't know say, I'm more of a defensive player? You know what that means? They, they cannot play us, basketball no at all. <laughs> they, they are awful at no basketball. Way. This is what people who are awful at basketball say about themselves. Oh, I'm more of a defensive but, player. But guess what? That boy going to be – that boy gonna be a lockdown defender though. I don't, I don't know. I don't man. think so. I don't even think he's gonna be a lockdown defender. No, I'm just saying them type of guy. I'm no, oh, I, I'm dude. just talk, I'm talking about on the pickup boy, boy. Oh, them, yeah. Hey, the get the rebound. Hey, well, he's gonna be on you, boy. <laughs> who's he aiming be, to be who's aiming to be a, 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 a defender? We talk about Pat Bell like Pat Bell ain't school average what 30, 40 points 30. In, in high school. 30. Yeah. Seven again, okay? so crazy like that. Oh, man, come on! Like even Rodman, <laughs> even when Rodman was in college, he led the the, the country in score. Right, Dennis Rodman. Exactly. <laughs> I just so folks can understand that, like mm-hmm. Dennis Rodman did this. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. But, you, you but, can give me, I, give me blue bow wow. Over Brian James. Man, I'm not doing this. Man, <laughs> we, uh, Brian, I know you're going to be all right, brother. Yeah, you rich. It's it just, it just not your time. <laughs> yeah, you rich. You're going to be all right. Oh, yeah. You definitely, you definitely rich. So, just hang. It's, it's, it's crazy. He's rich, bro. Give me one of them ball brothers. Any ball brother. Jello, absolutely. He's bigger, <laughs> stronger, can shoot better for sure. We've seen Jello put up fifty in a game before. So, 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 if Jello was LeBron James, son, you think he'd be in the NBA right now? He would be the number one pick. I doubt it. Not number one. He'd be number one pick. At C six, athletic. He'd be no one pick. If he was LeBron James, son, if he had he, that back. No, LeJello not... James. LeAngelo <laughs> James. I'm not listening to this, man. Over I'm not. To my Atlanta Hawks. I'm not listening to this, man. So, 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 so reverse it, though. If Bronny James was one of LeVar Ball's kids, you think he'd get drafted? To work at T Mobile. <laughs> That's it. If he, if, if he got a lot of coverage on Jello, man, I think he can get a lot of coverage on Bronny. Yeah. No, but we, I mean, oh, he's oh, basically – they're basically doing the same thing. That's one of the things I, I see, too, is like – I mean, LeVar Ball, what he did with his kids, LeBron is actually doing the exact same thing. He's just – he's got the leverage because he's in the NBA. Correct. He, you know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> trying to – Father his kid to the NBA, just like oh yeah. yeah. If if LeBron was Lonzo, Lamelo, and and Jello's daddy, they would all three be on the same team. Yeah, in LA down there <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it, all three of them would be playing with their daddy. Yeah, that's crazy, man. <laughs> man, just just keep working hard, man. You'll be there. 
Like that's I love how this man, mystic you are, bro. Man, whatever. This, this man. man is declared for the NBA draft. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Keep working hard. Yeah, man, keep working hard. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> keep up the good work, bro. Yeah, nigga. I'm, I'm not doing this with y'all. He, he didn't get a scholarship offer, bro. He declared to go to the NBA. <laughs> he said, keep working hard. The draft ain't even here yet. <laughs> man, y'all really some bullies, bro. I don't want y'all to understand me. The draft ain't even here yet. <laughs> I already told him, keep, work, keep working hard. Bro. Keep your head. Just keep at it, bro. Just keep at it. I- I want y'all to understand, y'all are really some bullies, bro. Well, you said it, really. You, you know said it. So, you said it, and you were so sincere, though. Like you're so sincere. I know you meant it. <laughs> man, we talking about the NBA playoff now. We're not laughing y'all, at you, Brandy. Yeah, 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 man. Bro. Y'all laughing at me, man. I don't like that, bro. You laughing at me. You laughing at me. <laughs> we, we laughing with you. Hey, you can laugh at me now. That prize pit doesn't hit. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> hey, laugh at me now. Oh, boy, I'm standing down now, boy. I'm like, oh, please, man. Oh, man. I just need one point out of this, man. <laughs> yes, sir. There we go. Prize pit. We need a sponsorship. Prize pit. Right. I'm, 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 <laughs> try- I'm trying to. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> cash out. <laughs> I'm catch now. But uh, yeah, man, NBA playoffs. Shout out to Prize Picks. My dog sneaking in here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, NBA playoffs, man, is uh Eastern Conference, yeah. Western Conference finals. Um, mm-hmm. uh, we got some yep. awesome matchups currently right now. Of course, the Boston Celtics. And the uh, Indiana Pacers, I think, is a very, very underrated series. And a, and a lot of people really putting down the uh, Indiana Pacers because I don't think a lot of folks understand, like, these boys really do got a squad. And picking up Pascal Siakam mm-hmm. was, like, a great addition for them. I mean, an awesome addition. And it's really, really showing. But the one person that is uh, that has been stepping up this postseason is – Miles Turner. And he is doing his thing in this game. And I was like, bro, where was this on many other times when I needed you on prize picks? Shout out to prize picks. <laughs> Shout out to prize picks, though. Shout out to prize picks. Yeah. Hey, prize picks, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, hey, they're going to be a sponsor one day. So, for sure. Just got to speak it into existence. But, um, uh, but, right. Definitely a uh, underrated series, and then of course in the West got um, the Timberwolves and the Mavs, which I think is a series that could possibly be six or seven. Definitely be six or seven with definitely star power at that guard position. The bit matchup, Ant called out, said, well, you, "I ain't gonna say he called out, but he said I, I got Kyrie." Mm-hmm. Now, I I said it like this. I love Ant Man. I love him. I love him since day one. I'm just happy that a lot of folks starting to finally catch on to this or whatnot. Now, I'm not gonna say I knew he was gonna be like what he is right now, this fast. I knew he was gonna be what he was, but not this fast. Right. But Kyrie Irving is a different beast, man. That that that. We talking about possibly one of the most talented players to ever play in this game. I'm talking about he's this is no Jamal Murray. Quicker, faster, better shooter. Can definitely finish under the rim. I think the the uh best finisher of small guys in the history of the NBA. I have yet to see this man. I mean, it's magical when this man has a basketball in his hand. I just want to know y'all thoughts on these series. What's your what you think the outcomes, the outcome gonna be, and all that good stuff. Well, I got I got Pacers in six. 
And I got Timberwolves in five. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I, I think the the Pacers are going to just be a little bit too much for the Celtics. I think the Celtics are going to do what the Celtics do every time we get in this position. And I, honestly, I just think that team is built for the regular season, but not the playoffs. Uh, and I, I don't. I think if we get the same Carl Anthony Towns that we got in the last series that this Maverick series is going to be over pretty quick, actually. So I think everybody else kind of evens out. Luca's really banged up, and that's going to hurt them. So they're going to have to rely on Kyrie a little bit more. And, you know, they got Gobert under there to try to slow down Kyrie when he get in the lane. So we'll see what how it goes. But I got – yeah, I got Pacers in six, and I got Tim Wolves in five. The gentleman sweep. Mm. Yeah, so I got uh, I got the Pacers too. Uh, I'm gonna say six or seven. I don't know. It may go seven. Uh, everybody know how I feel about Boston frauds, <laughs> frauds. When it comes to playoff time, they just whatever reason this this version of this team we've seen through multiple coaches. Multiple iterations of this team. We to move the pieces around. You talk about Brown. Uh, they they just don't get it done when it comes to playoff basketball for whatever reason. Uh, I'm looking at the game now. They down three in game one on their own floor. So, uh, man, I I like Indiana. Uh, very underrated team. Shout out to the GM for putting this team together because all the pieces they went and got are all the pieces that fit they they brand the basketball. They like to get up and down the floor. They got a point guard that loves to distribute the balls. Uh probably the best pure point point in the league right now. Um and uh they they just looked apart, man. I think I think that they uh they get it done within six or seven. Then on the other side. Man, I like Minnesota because, I mean, from here on out, they're going to be bigger than any team they play in the playoffs. They're going to have the size advantage. That's why uh, it was so important that those bigs play well in their last series that they get past Denver because now uh, you can see Anthony Edwards probably trying to kind of taking over these, these series um, or just having big games. Uh, but I love Kyrie Irving, man. And the call out Kyrie Irving was it's like you gotta be careful what you ask for. Uh he still play with the best of them. He still put you on skates, have you out there dancing. Um uh, he he's he still that guy for real. And then uh I know Luca's unhealthy right now, but if, if you can get a healthy Luca, this is a team that he torches, you know. We talking about 30, 12, and 12 during the regular season. He he did not play around with them. And, uh, yeah, I just – if you can get a motivated Luka uh, and, and you already got Kyrie with that chip on his shoulder from not making the USA team uh, and being the only – the only I don't even say the only veteran, but you know what I mean, the only veteran star, I guess, left in the playoffs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go with – I'm gonna go out on the limb. Go with Dallas. I'm gonna go with Dallas in like seven, seven game series. I'm gonna go Dallas uh, with a lot of Kyrie Irving. Yeah, man. No, I said, and it really. I can't you. even. Yeah, and the and the thing is, like when folks talk about, uh, like yo. Like when they had uh Rudy Gobert, Cat, and Nas Reed, it ain't like that Joker was like this defensive presence down there. And the Nuggets really they have they I still believe they are the better team, but the right guys stepped up for uh the Timberwolves. That was literally my key. 
The only reason that they won is literally the main key. I said that's the only way they're going to win, if Cat step up. Every game they won, Cat played great. Can Cat continue to play great? But Cat realizing he's not the number one guy. When you put him in his right position, number two, he can succeed in my eyes. Now, in this series, it's going to be – I folks saying Luca hurt, I'm – I really uh, didn't really watch the uh, OKC and uh, Mavs series. So what's like wrong with them? Yeah, y'all, either one of y'all know. Like, I don't know what his injury is. Oh, okay. Well, well, Jason looking it up, but uh, the uh, fact if he's hurt. If you can just get 90% out of Luca, because either one, him and uh Kyrie are it's no Batman and Robin. It's, it's just both Batman. It's, it's who, two Batman. <laughs> which one you want to go off? Who, I'll put it like this. You do not want both of them to go off. No. So they're both of them going off at the same time. This is not gonna be a series. I don't care who you think you are, Matt Daniels. If you think Matt Daniels going to, I think, is that his name, Matt Daniels or Matt Donald? <laughs> Jay I McDaniels. Think, yeah, Jay Matt Daniels. If he think he's going to do that to Kyrie Irving, my guy, you try to play that uh, aggressive defense, you may be on the highlight. <laughs> you may be on the highlight. The, I never seen a man have a basketball on the stream like that, man. Nah. Easily the greatest nah. handles. To ever play this game, bro. We had a we even had a debate on this thing one time when I I can't remember uh till I think it was like Arlon and Quint that said AI. I said when AI I was, my the way that I always kill a debate. If the person that you saying is better than the other person that I'm saying, if that person says that this person is better than them, debate is Ooh. over. That's how right. I always handle debate. So how can you say this man literally said that? And I remember Arlon said, "Man, hey, I just being nice." Man, you gonna tell what that man said? <laughs> <laughs> just being nice. I thought that was crazy, man. I thought that was crazy that night. Somebody pointed that out to me one time, bro. See what the fuck Arlon talking about on that? <laughs> he be he be making sense, bro. But that time they just didn't understand it, bro. But. Um, what I put it like this: What are y'all keys for the uh for this series? Like for for all four teams, because clearly, if y'all been watching the Celtics and them going to overtime, big time yeah. shot by Jalen Brown, crazy. But literally, still, literally, while I was talking trash about him, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, shout out to Prize Pit though. That thing still here, so I, it don't matter. Win, win or lose, you got a winner. Cha ching. <laughs> <laughs> but give me a key. Who gonna be? That's all I need. You ain't even got to be nothing long. Just give me y'all S factors for each team. Um. For they for uh who needs to step up for each team for whatever team to win. Hmm. Hmm. I, I mean, I think you already said it for the Timberwolves. Really, it's Cat, right? right? So we really just if if Cat can be the person that he's built to be and exploit matchups when they switch to smaller players on him, it shouldn't even be close, man. Like. He is a walking mismatch. He's basically MB light. Like right. he could be that sort of player if he wanted to, but he obviously don't. Ninety percent of the time, he don't want to. And I think uh, on the other end, it's like the the key to the Celtics and Pacers thing for real is just can the Celtics figure it out with Tatum and and Brown because that. It just that style of play where it's just two ISO guys really just doesn't work in the playoffs. And that's kind of what they've had. And they tried it over and over and over again. And we just basically ran into a brick wall at this point. So if they can figure out a, a way to play actual team ball, then I think they'll have a, a shot at winning. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm kind of along the same lines. I think it's uh, in Minnesota, clearly is Cat. If he can play well, uh, he increases their chances to win by me almost 10, 20 times, something like that. Uh, I don't know, but is he like a 20 and 10 guy? You think those are decent numbers for him to uh, – do you think 20 and 10 is him contributing uh, enough? Or do they need more than that? I think 20 and 10, you get 20 and 10 from Cat with some timely baskets. So that's enough to put him over the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I on the other second. My fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I believe playing 20 and 10 is good yeah. because uh, if Nas Reed is playing like a <laughs> great six man, that just and extra scoring and mm-hmm. Mike C uh, contributing. Uh, and Kyle Anderson, I forgot they had Kyle Anderson. He uh, played uh, good defense and giving you uh, certain points. So, yeah, man, yeah. it's – Yeah. So, so for the other end of it, I think uh, a, lot of, a, a lot of attention going to Kyrie, rightfully so, uh, and, and because – uh, and kind of called them out. Uh, but I think it's Luca Dunn. If, if you get if you get prime Luca, because he's he's a, he's he draws assignments from bigs. So what yeah. you're gonna see is you're gonna have guards trying to guard him. Cat's gonna have to try to guard him. Mm-hmm. Nas Reed gonna get a turn. Like his his size and the way he plays is just going to be such a – he's such a mismatch for almost any team. And when he's playing well, it don't matter who he got on his team, bro. He, they, they tough to beat. Uh, and, and, you know, these are two players, him and Kyrie, these are two players that could easily have 30-point games in the same game. They've done mm-hmm. it numerous times. And it's probably what it's going to have to take for them to make a, you know – you're talking about getting to the finals and winning it. They're going to have to both play well. Uh, but then in the East, uh, I think for the Celtics, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the answer is. It, you know, this is why I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'd be down on the Celtics, man, because they literally have all the pieces you need. Like on paper, this team should have more championships in recent history than they have. But like, but we but we we talked about that man. They, yeah, they were young and a lot of those. That's true. Their core they, was young, but they still had. You talking about the team that had Kyrie Irving? You talking about a team a team that had they were defensive player the, defensive player of the year on their squad. Yeah, I mean they were young, but I'm just saying like the teams that they put together, the whole teams they were pretty decent teams. Now you look at this team they got Porzingis. Drew Holiday, man. On paper, I, I have no reason. It's, it's, that's why it's hard for me to come up with an X factor for them because, like, they got it all. Like, they just mm-hmm. gotta win. You know, it's do they want it or not? I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um, and with 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 Indiana, man, it's tough because I love I love the way they're playing now, but I, I just don't trust that style of basketball. When you want to turn into a track meet, we've seen it. It hasn't worked. It didn't work for the Rockets. It didn't work for uh, the Suns. Uh, it just doesn't just doesn't lead the championships. Uh, but they are a tough out though because they're gonna score a lot of points. So I think like the key to them would maybe uh, like I said, Miles Turner, if he continue to play like that, if he can get some points in the paint, uh, post points maybe. Because uh, it's gonna come a point in one in some of the, one of these series and one of these games when they're gonna have to throw the ball to somebody to get two points, but they're not gonna be able to run up and down to get offense. They're gonna have to in the half court say, "Hey, go get us, go get us a bucket." And uh, I, I think Miles Turner may be the person on the team to do that. So if he can play well, I think they they increase their chances. But I mean, those are the X factors that I got for those series. Yeah. Yeah, I think we all on the same page. Now I said Miles Turner for me. And uh for Indiana, you gotta have 
for the Celtics, the reason why I said this could possibly be their year is the same person I said when they uh traded for him. When they traded for Drew Holiday, that was a main guy that they can depend on outside of Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart was an excellent defender, but I don't think overall basketball player he's better than Drew Holiday. Drew yeah. Drew Holiday is a better basketball player. Than For sure. Him. True. You get you get the same defense, but you get the offense that go with it. And then uh if you can get somehow get Przingis back, which I don't know, I thought he'd be playing tonight. They said game saying. 4. They said game 4. That's what they flashed on the screen earlier. Oh, okay. So, uh, if you can just somehow, it, yeah, if you can get it to game four, like, yeah. No, so I'm basically, you basically don't get swept. <laughs> well, don't no, I ain't saying if you can get it to game four. I ain't mean it like that. But Porzingis, uh, like, he's one of those guys. He's just not a number one. He's like, it's certain, it's only certain guys in the NBA where you can just depend on like that. He, if he, this is perfect for him. He can yeah. be a number three guy. A three. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That is perfect. That is no perfect. pressure. No pressure at all. And then, like, these guy having a down night. Oh, I can step up. They're not depending on me. Like, mm-hmm. well, they depending on me, but I'm not the guy. So I think Drew Holiday for them. Um, for Dallas, I believe if PJ Washington can keep playing the way he's been playing, that's true. I believe that's, that's that that's is a true. very very key factor for the Mavs to like because I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought when they traded for him, I did like eh, PJ show flashes, but he's so inconsistent with it. But he's been very very consistent with the uh, Mavs. I think it's just a thing when you just get around great players. Uh. You just improve your game. And so I'm just happy to see um, him playing good, especially the whole Brittany Renner thing. I still can't get over that. <laughs> like, bro, that, that was the most lamest thing I ever seen in my life, bro. Mm. And, and he oh, transferring this game too, bro. Like, he coming out of college, I always thought, like, he, I thought it's, uh, I thought it was, like, slow – not slow, but just like he had an old game, uh, I guess antiquated is what you would call it. And uh, to see what he's doing now is like, man, yeah, he, he kind of adapted to the new league for real, for real. Because he was a legit, like kind of like a post player, like 15-foot jumpers uh, coming, out of, coming out of college, if I can remember correctly. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, we're going to see, but I know – like I said, I don't care who wins at all because my team not in it. Some folks be a little more invested than others. Uh, I ain't going to say no names because I don't want them to uh, get embarrassed. <laughs> say the name. No, oh, no, I ain't going to do it to them. Maybe if they do say something, we'll, I'll say it on the next pod and, make sure, and say it's dedicated to them. <laughs> Fan boys, <laughs> I ain't gonna even go there with them tonight, but it's a diss track. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, it's definitely a diss. Shot Shaw Shooters Records, <laughs> <laughs> <Shaw> Shooter Records. <laughs> Ooh, hey, 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 that hey. <laughs> welcome to Sharp Shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Like how Dre used to say, welcome to death, bro. <laughs> oh, Shout out to the mother F and DRE, favorite producer ever, the greatest. But oh, uh, got this last one, man. Good old Kaylin Clark. Hate. Oh, yeah. Uh I I really want Tess to take the lead on this one, man. Cause <laughs> I really ain't read the article. I just seen the I just read the uh, what you want to call it, the title to it, and I yeah. thought it was the most one. Of, it it makes me not want to watch sports a lot of the times, bro. And I and I hate to say it, a lot of women make me not want to watch sports a lot of times when it comes <laughs> to that, bro. It, it, it's 
like when we start putting race into everything, mm. every game, like, oh my God, bro. I just want to watch the game. <laughs> I just want to watch <laughs> the game. Bro. That's what sports is, bro. I don't want to bring politics into everything. Like, yes, it's politics in all types of sport. Yes, we all understand it. But every game, every game, <laughs> every game, like, and I'm going to let Ted take over after this, but, man, yeah, I'm going to let him take over after this, but, man. No, just go ahead, man. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just dumbfounded by all this stupid stuff, bro. <laughs> oh man, so I don't know. I I, I saw an article uh, from. I don't think Jamel Hill wrote the article. I think she was being interviewed by like the New York Times or something like that. And then it was like they said, uh, basically in a nutshell, that the reason. A big part of the reason uh, for Caitlyn Clark's popularity uh, was the fact that she was uh, white and straight. Right? Okay. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and, and, and and like midway through that, I start reading because like no, at no point did they mention that she's really good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just don't understand that. Like, in, in, and it's not just this article. And, and so, shout out to Jamel here. I, I want to say that I used to be a huge Jamel Hill fan, uh, just because she was like the only woman that that clearly was like watching sports and mm-hmm. being able to talk and commentate them for a very long time. But now. It seems like for some reason she is just like on this mission to like anytime she can inject race or just like a misogyny or just like anything in these topics, she just just finds a way to do it. And it's just like this topic right here doesn't make any sense. Why does it why does that not make any sense? I'll tell you why. Kelsey Plum. Kelsey Plum is white. Kelsey Plum is straight. Kelsey Plum was the all-time leading scorer in NCAA history before Caitlin broke the record. Nobody cares about any of that. <laughs> you want to know why? Because one of these players can shoot the ball from 30 and the other one can't. Yep. It's simple as that. One of them is really good at basketball at an early age. One of them is – shout out to Kelsey Plum. She's great at basketball. But when you're talking about age versus similar ages, she's no Caitlin Clark mm-hmm. when it comes to, like, drawing people to watch her play. Her brand of basketball is exciting. This is why she's popular. Oh, and it's just frustrating, man. It's just frustrating because, like, they just won't – people just won't keep it basketball. Like, like – you have to go through all these different reasons to, to to figure out why she's popular, other than the fact that she's made more threes than anybody ever made in college. She scored more points than anybody ever. Because without all of that, would we be talking about her? Like if Caitlin Clark was a six man off <laughs> off the bench in Iowa, would we, would we be talking? Would we care that she was white or straight or any of that? And there's always the age-old question is, what if she was black? Which I say all the time. I say it even matter. (laughs) Bro, if Caitlin Clark was black and she was Kelly Clark or Michaela Clark, they will adore this woman. Why y'all always talking down on her? She's just for games. Listen, man. Y'all, and I, and I, and I don't, I don't want to just single out people or just like. I, I just want to say this though: the people that are just doing this, finding reasons to hate. If you, if if these people are women, if I'm talking to women right now, oh, uh, y'all are messing this up, man. This is a prime <laughs> opportunity for the WNBA to eat. 
and become the league that everybody wants it to be. And I'm telling you, this is not the way to do it right here is to take your golden goose and try to discredit her at every single stop. Now, if she's out there not hooping, fair game. <laughs> but, I mean, she's hooping. I mean, it's, it's even that. Like, she's I, – I don't know. Like, I, I can tell when – I, when I talk about this, I get frustrated because I can tell a lot of people uh, don't really watch WNBA like that for real, for real. They and, don't. And I'm not even just talking about fans. I'm talking about like famous people and the commentators and stuff like like mm-hmm. you can tell they don't keep up with the game for one. This narrative that she's struggling is just not really true. They don't really score that many points in the WNBA. They average about 75, 80 points a game. Well, technically, she is struggling. Technically. Well, technically, she, she, she got a lot of turnovers, but she's struggling by her standards. Yeah. She's averaging the same amount of points as Diana Taurasi right now. Career-wise. Yeah, well, I'm talking about this season, through four games this season. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are people, there, there are players who made, in the WNBA, who made the Hall of Fame averaging 17 points a game. The leading scorer last year's uh, score was what? Brianna Stewart, she put up 24 points a game. Mm-hmm. So when you put it in in perspective like that, she's not doing bad. No. <laughs> she's not doing bad at all. This isn't college. You're not going to get, you know, it's, or or maybe, you know, she may do it, but you're not going to get these 40-point games back to back to back to back to back like that because it's a different game. Um, Can we keep but, it in perspective that she's like three months removed from college? From that's the college also game. great. That's also a great point. No summer workout. There's no, no off season. <laughs> yeah. She's three. Like, we don't care if she's straight, bi, crooked, whatever. Like, no. if she was Rhodesia Clark, I wouldn't care. <laughs> like, she hooping. Like, we like her because she hooping. Like, that's the bottom line. That's all it is to it. And it would be crazy to not market her because she is hooping. She's hooping beyond the standards that we've seen for all women basketball players up to this point. So they'd be crazy to not market her. Nike would be mm-hmm. crazy to not give her a bag. Mm-hmm. Right. True. Because in five years, if there's somebody else that comes along, they're going to have to give them five times as much. Right. Bro. That's, that's true. I think I've seen one of the best posts. Ever. If Angel Reese and uh, Kaylin Clark is like, if you want to just say Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, mm-hmm. right. Juju Watkins is Michael Jordan. On the way. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> she will be here in three years. Michael Jordan is on the way. On the way. Don't ruin this moment now for what you can build up, bro. You're, right. you're getting yeah. chartered flights. You're expanding the league. Again, you're starting to have more teams out there. You're starting to have a lot of eyes. Just stop discrediting your golden goose. You're looking stupid out there. Like everything, mm-hmm. like bro, like what? What's up, um, Asia Wilson? Yeah. She is that. She is that girl, man. She is fine. Yeah. But a lot of folks were hollering about her not having a shoe. I'm like, bro, this is all about. Supply and demand. Right. If she dropped that, would you go out there and buy it? Most women won't. No. I probably see more dudes wear it, probably, than I see a woman wear it. So that's why I like all this stuff, all this nonsense and acting like y'all care about the game. Stop. Let's just stop, bro. <laughs> y'all try to make this a y'all try to make this a black and white issue, and it's, it's it, not. It's a headache, bro. It's a headache every night. I'm talking about Twitter is the worst place for all this, bro. Oh my it god. Is, it is it is the worst. It is the worst place to look at any of this because bro, I'm telling you. It you just you just see stuff like Jamel Hill, who I have a lot of respect for. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> and I know like bro, she knows the game. I would at at one time, I was like, "Bro, 
when Carrie Champion and all them was on there, I was like, bro, we went from all this to Molly on first right. take. <laughs> right, right. We went all the way down there. Like, bro, uh, we we shrunk down, bro. Like, the level of just, oh, my God. I, I... Exactly. No, when, I read, me st- when I read it, the only thing I could think is I just, Jamel, I'll do better. Yeah. A lot better. Just do better. Because this, this a- ain't it. I'm gonna tell you the race, bro. The only time I see race in this argument is like the fans, the people that are criticizing Caitlyn Clark. Y'all are the ones injecting race because y'all only everything that Caitlyn Clark has got has gotten all the attention, all of that. Angel Reese has gotten the exact same thing. She got a shoe deal first. She got. You know what I'm saying? All the publicity. She probably had more brand deals. But Mm -hmm. nobody has an issue with any of it. Nobody has an issue with it. The only reason that people have an issue with Caitlin Clark and his success is because she's white. That's That's where the race comes in. That's that's where the race comes in. Like, legitimately. Uh Like, that's the only reason that people have an issue with it. Or even writing these whole think pieces about why her popularity. Like, what does her sexuality have to do with her popularity? Right. <laughs> she ain't cute. I don't, I don't get it. And no, no homo. It. Larry Bird won best looking people in the world, bro. I'm just saying, bro. And Larry Bird is Larry Bird because he can hoop. Yeah, he like it's a, like either you can hoop or you can't. And that is, can hoop. That, exactly. and, that, and that's the difference, dog. That's the difference. We get it. We get it. The yeah. only people that don't get it is mostly women. Women. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. And some simps. I wasn't like, oh, say it. it's always them. Like, bro, Listen, we get it. The, like, the you NBA, don't watch sports. The NBA scoring champion this year, white. MVP, white. Nobody says anything Nobody about they didn't deserve it. <laughs> I, I think that Shea should have got the award, right? I thought that he, he was the MVP this year. Do I think they gave it to Jokic because he's white? No. I think they gave it to Jokic because he can hoop. <laughs> like, I just, uh. Now I'm saying, bro, we, we, we just watch sports. We're just watching it <laughs> to just watch it. Just to watch it. It's, it's, it's a time and a place when we need to talk about race and the thing in, in sports, like Donald Sterling situation. That right. was a time to talk about race and all that. Right. Like you looking at your players like they um like they're slaves. Mm-hmm. Like that's a that's a time when we can talk about that. This ain't one of those times, bro. It's it's just straight up jealousy. Let's just call it like it is. I'm sorry that this white girl sells. They're not putting money behind nobody that that's not going to sell nothing. I have never seen nobody. You think I haven't heard nobody jealous over Wimby because they know he's a money. He's a money cow. Yeah. She he earned it. it. It's only like, one come on, bro. <laughs> like, and she earned she, it. And then they, like, trying to diss her. Like, bro, she doesn't do nothing but go who. She doesn't. Like, you trying to say, oh, she complains a lot. Like, bro, who doesn't complain on a basketball court? I can point out this, this star, this star, this star, this star. Right. Black or white, it don't matter. We've seen Michael Jordan do it so much. We've seen LeBron do it so much. <laughs> not going, <laughs> down, not going down the road today. No, we ain't going down the road tonight. Not, 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 not. <laughs> I knew where you were going with it. That's the only reason I said it. Uh, but, 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 bro, come on, man. This is it's, it's just crazy, bro, that we even even talking about it. Like, bro, all she do is who? She doesn't act like she's bigger than the game. Mm-mm. She doesn't do that. She just go out there and just play ball. She don't, That's all she does is just go out there and play ball. Yeah. And, she's and that's all you can ask for. I have never seen this much attention. Matter of fact, their game sold out ESPN – on a Monday night. Yeah. Sold out. ESPN Monday night. Where they do that at? And folks talking about it like it was just game seven of the NBA final. It's because she white. I'm she like, was, bro. I, she's they, on the worst team in the league. Too. 
So people are, right. are are tuned in to see her. They're not seeing tuned in to see winning basketball. <laughs> <laughs> they're tuned in to see her. And I'm like, man, you you're you're really lucky that Juju is not coming out next season because then it will be Aaliyah Boston, Caitlin Clark, and Juju. Buckle up. I was about to say they on pace to get another first round first pick this year. Who would have ever thought that we would be racist towards a white woman? That's so well, crazy. Well, well, we can't be racist. That's you know what I mean, mean, though. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's, it's just this it's is just, impossible. It's just that she's doing something that she plays the game in a way that we attribute to black people. That's what it is. And I, bro, I and hope, I like, if folks get offended by this, we don't care. I promise you, we don't. We talk like this. We'll talk like this in front of you or whatnot. Because, yeah, what? We can fight. So it don't matter. So <laughs> if you feel some type of way, oh, well. Because you can't deny the truth. It, the truth doesn't matter. The truth don't care who says it. That's true. It's not going to change. Like the girl can who give her her time. It's only her fourth game. Literally her fourth game in the WNBA. I'm not about to deal with this all season long. <laughs> and it's, and it, oh, not only is it a fourth game, but two of them she played against Connecticut Sun, which is the best defensive team in the league. Play the other two, yeah, the other two she played against New York Liberty, which they twice. was in the championship game. <laughs> yeah. There's a team like that last year. So, man, listen. They who they play next? I think they play like Seattle, something like that. Don't worry. Right. Oh, it's coming now. He's gonna get somebody that. forty or fifty yeah. ball before yeah. it's over with. Man, and it's only twelve teams. So, like, she's played two of the big three. The only other team she hadn't played is Las Vegas, Las Vegas Aces. But those are literally the three best teams in the league, and have been that. For a very long time, seemingly. Oh, it's man! Gonna, don't worry, it's gonna happen. She gonna explode. And they're not I gonna mean, know what to do with her besides file her. I don't even think they like they team so new. I don't even think the coach even know what she got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like she just got a brand new Ferrari and has no idea what to do with it. Don't. Yeah. Maybe Brian can go coach. <laughs> Here we go. Man, I'm not doing this. Uh, Boston Celtics uh, end up taking the game tonight, so they are 1-0 on the Pacers. I yeah, believe it's going to end overtime. Very, very shocking win. Very, real, real good game. But I just want to uh, close out on that, but, man. <laughs> We 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 really need to do better, ladies, because y'all are annoying when it comes to this WNBA. Because a lot of you don't watch the game, y'all just want to see this girl fail. That's it. And, That's it. And, it, and I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. It's just the same thing. You matter of fact, I put it like this. Like I I have said this many many times. I don't hate LeBron. I hate the fans. No, you they make you just not – they just make you mm-hmm. – it like, like mm-hmm. bro, it, it's just that type of thing. Like, I just hate y'all. No. I, I'm not going to let you have that one. No, sir. No, you hate it, bro. Man, please. Man, please. It, it's some of – I ain't going to say no name, and you know who I'm talking about, and I hope he see this part. Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Fan boy. Hey, <laughs> and shoot, man, it rap rap ain't even uh not even. I I'm trying not to use the other person name, man. I, I'm trying not to. At least rap is family. The yeah. other one, Terry, know who I'm talking about. I'm trying not to go there. I want to know. Putting the, I want to know in the chat. Oh, we're gonna talk about it in just a second. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man. Just fanboys, man. Man, but we about to get out of here. We went 30 minutes longer than I expected. But that's usually how I go. Go.
All right, man. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Boom. Proto Images. We did it. All platforms, man. Uh, happy to be here again. Looking forward to next week. And remember, remember, after you say all that hating stuff about her, ask yourself, but can she hoop, though? Uh, and whatever the answer to that question is, you have your answer. Bingo. Can she hoop, can she hoop though? Yo, it's your boy, man. Uh, you can follow me at Crown Noise Sports on YouTube. Uh, the only thing I got for you, you know, Brian, I think you would do a really, really good job of coaching in the WNBA. They're expanding. I think this is a wonderful <laughs> opportunity for you. If you need marketing or something like that, let me know. That's it for me. You ain't going to tell them what you got planned coming up, or you just going to wait on that? I'm going to just wait on that. Okay, we'll wait on that. And as always, I'm Brinsky Sharp of the Sharp Shooters Podcast. Catch us every Wednesday on YouTube. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all the uh, support. Still on the road, uh, 500 subscribers. Um, slowly but surely. Uh, just appreciate everybody that's uh, continuing to support. Uh, make sure y'all uh, go support. Uh, these fellas, of course, they they pretty much just on here. I don't even have to really ask them. They just really just tell them the time. But uh, as always, man, appreciate everybody for showing love. And like I said, I'm not going to – I'm, I'm going to have to change up this whole Auburn thing at the end <laughs> just because just had to do something nice. I, I'll save for football season. <laughs> So I'm not going to say it no more until football season. So as always, from the 4-6 boys, we'll see y'all next week. Peace.